We want to get back to the mayoral runoff here in Chicago. Our political editor, Mike Flannery, joining us live now in studio. Well, Natalie and Anthony, we count the votes in just five weeks from last night. Both Paul Vallis and Brandon Johnson today came out swinging. Brandon still has to explain his, his so-called ta tax to rich plan that doesn't look like a tax to rich plan to me when you're talking about head taxes or in, on small businesses, and which are taxes on the number of employees, or when you're talking about things like raising the hotel motel tax on an industry that's been pummeled by COVID. I mean, that's not a tax to rich plan. That's a let's destroy Chicago's economy plan. Johnson uh, prefers uh, not discussing details of his tax proposals, but instead to talk about how he, as mayor, would spend, uh, would increase spending by up to $2 billion in ways that Johnson claims would reduce the city's chronic street violence. He told Good Day Chicago this morning that would include new cash to implement a consent decree mandating police reforms. We're going to spend to make sure that the consent decree is being enacted with all expediency. But we're also going to double the amount of young people that we hire across the city. Um, there's a direct correlation between youth employment and violence reduction. We're going to reopen our mental health centers. Now, there is also a lot of competition uh, between the uh, Vallis camp and the Johnson camp as they each vie for endorsements from those who came up short last night. Uh, we'll have more on that uh, in our news at 5 o'clock and at 9 o'clock. I'm political editor Mike Flannery. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Mike.